Hey everybody, what's up? Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Kristen, if you're new. This is just a little chatty update video here. We've got some Taco Bell, so I thought we could do another Taco Bell mukbang so we can get the... How's that? <laughs> so, it's disgusting outside, raining, cold, wet. It's May now. It's literally May Day, <laughs> May 1st. Um, I've got the Cravings box. I'm not even sure what it is they had. It just looked good. I think it's like a five layer burrito. It's like their <sighs> taco that's made out of, I don't know, it's made out of Doritos or it's cheesy. Or I think it's a like cheese Dorito or something. So. good but messy oh my gosh so I just want to pop in a little update I didn't get two videos out last week which I'm trying to do two a week and I'm hoping to get this one ready by tomorrow Tuesday um just some little updates going on so first off my aunt passed away last week um it wasn't unexpected or anything she was elderly in her 70s um she'd gotten very sick she'd gone into a nursing home this all happened very quickly because like december she was in her own home january she ended up in any um like a rehabilitation center that the hospital discharged her to which then sent her to her nursing home and here we are it was very end of april last week later on today is may 1st so it was uh last week she passed away uh, she had advanced cancer that nobody knew about until it was too late um so her family chose not to tell her so she didn't know she had it she passed before the cancer got bad enough to be painful like they had her on i think morphine to keep her comfortable um but she like otherwise wasn't really aware of what was going on so i i think that she passed the best you could hope for very similar to how my grandma passed um a couple years ago it's, it's coming up on two years ago now that she passed and um my aunt was just like asleep like the last few days pretty much and just passed in her sleep so i mean it's, it's always hard when somebody passes but it's comforting when you know when somebody's had a full life a good life they're a ripe age and they passed peacefully i mean the older you get the more comfortable you get with the idea of death i guess like when i was younger i'd have been devastated by something like this and now i'm like well she went well <laughs> it was okay you know like I, it's it's sad but i've seen worse I've seen people suffer to death. Both of my grandfathers, I think, had pretty horrible deaths. And it just wasn't bad, okay? Like, it's it's sad, but it wasn't bad. So. Last few days, I've just been, like, reflecting a lot. Um her and I weren't overly close though we got closer when I got in my 20s oh we really built a pretty strong relationship and I really enjoyed going and visiting with her but when I was a child her and my dad were kind of estranged in a way so I don't really have a lot plus she was considerably older like her first boy who's my dad's nephew is actually older than my dad is so there was quite an age gap. The show on this was really good. When I say my parents were estranged from her, it wasn't like in a bad way. It was just like in a, a big age gap kind of way. Like we'd go visit, see them at holidays here and there. But, you know, she was, when my cousin, her son was having kids, they were my age, like she was a grandma, you know, whereas my dad was becoming a dad at the first time, kind of a deal. So 
just in different life places. Um, so I did grow up spending time with some of my second cousins who I consider them more just like my cousin cousins. And then my actual first cousin, who's my dad's age, I consider him more like an uncle because he's the same age as my dad. Like him and my dad used to run around when they were teenagers. So that kind of stuff. Hot cheese. Um, so because of that, videos are slacking this week and I'm sorry. Because they've been slacking for a while and I'm trying to get back on it, but. And then for Mr. Ira, my son, my youngest son, we've had some rough news. Um, the last one of these updates, Mukbangs I did, told you what was going on with him. And uh, we had a neurology appointment recently for both of my sons. My oldest boy got officially diagnosed with Tourette syndrome. It's very mild, so we're choosing not to medicate. Uh, but if his Tourette's changes, which the doctor said Tourette's changes throughout your life, if it ever got worse, um, we'd have the option to medicate because now we have the diagnosis, so. That'll be Levi's newest update. Ira, the neurologist said that he's, you know, he's got a proxy of speech, he's nonverbal. Um, which is a motor pathway planning disorder. Some people can recover. Some people struggle with it their entire lives. She was finally a doctor who broke it to me straight. And she was like, he is severe. And he's almost four. So the time for him to start talking, it's <sighs> likelihood he's not going to. Is what she told me. She's like, it's possible. Don't give up hope. But statistically speaking, it's, it's not in his favor at this point. And so sign language and a touch to talk tablet are his best options, which that was hard to hear. And I heard that not last week, but the week before. And that too, I cried a lot. That was hard. Um, like I've known inherently for a while now, I've been kind of having that thought of like, so we're not seeing any improvement with all the speech therapy he's going to, we're not seeing improvements. And uh, I've started questioning, is this as good as it's gonna get for him? Is he not, is this just not something he's able to do? So, and I've talked to like pediatricians and speech therapists and I've been like, you know, and I know speech therapy can take years. Like Levi was in it for two years before we really seen big improvements on his speech when he needed it but we were seeing little improvements here and there and Ira is just not really seeing anything so I'm trying to eat fast because I've also got my husband's food here I want to get home to him before it's cold but I also want to sit and chat with you guys and make this video for tomorrow so so that kind of put a halt on me filming was well, just the last two weeks have just been a lot of personal stuff going on um it was recommended to do a genetic testing on Ira, so I just got the kit in the mail for that. And the idea behind it is that he might have some kind of a chromosomal abnormality or he might be missing a chromosome. There's no treatment plan for it if he is, but we can look at like statistics and we can look at like other people's life um, abilities, their quality of life, and kind of an idea of what we're looking at with him. So right now it's more just to rule anything out. If it turns out that he is chromosomally missing something, then I don't really know what the next steps are from there other than probably a lot of research. And then both boys are finally getting autism screenings. So, that's something. And I was talking to one of my cousins tonight who, we keep up on Facebook here and there, but like we've kind of more or less lost touch. So it's becoming adults. <laughs> we had uh, my aunt's showing with my aunt, her grandmother. And we got to talking and her oldest boy in particular, 
show so many of the same traits as what Levi does. And um, it's easy to say it's genetic, which her brother is autistic. My other cousin. Excuse me. So, not surprising there, but we need to get the kids together because they will relate to each other. <laughs> well, this is kind of a short, boring video. Nothing really exciting here. Fries are so good. Sometimes McDonald's hasn't got something like this. I'm so tired of McDonald's. My kids won't eat McDonald's all the time. Once they're done with Happy Meals, I think I can go the rest of my life and never eat McDonald's. So tomorrow's gonna be busy. I've gotta take Levi to doctor's appointment for re-upping his ADHD meds. That's fun, you didn't know. When you're on ADHD meds, you have to, at least children, every three months have to go in and be evaluated by the doctor to make sure they're not having any negative side effects, which is a good thing. And to make sure they're not losing weight, which Hopefully Levi hasn't lost weight because he needs the dosage he's on, but it acts as an appetite suppressant. So it's kind of hard to make sure he eats all the time because he just, he don't want food. So we have to take him in the morning to go have his doctor's appointment. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got to take, we've got to take, let's come out, hello, get out of the bag. So we have uh, the funeral tomorrow, the showing was today, funeral's tomorrow. So I have to go, my mother-in-law's coming to watch my youngest boy, and then my cousin, I babysit her kids, her daughter's coming to get on the school bus in the morning, and I should be home in time for her to get off the school bus in the afternoon. Levi's got his doctor's appointment, and I gotta drop him off. And then my cousin's boy, who I watch all day, is going to go stay the night at his grandma's house tomorrow. So I'm very thankful that my aunt was able to watch him. And um, it'll be a busy day. And I'm not looking forward to the drive to the cemetery because it's probably like every bit of a 20 to 25 minute drive from the funeral home to the cemetery. Y'all know how slow cemetery or funeral processions are. So slow. <laughs> like, could we have just done graveside services and just met up here? <laughs> Conveniently, though, the cemetery is down the street from my house, so once we're done, I can go home quickly. I won't have to backpedal 20 minutes to get home, but it'll make for a long day for sure. But the rest of the family seems to be in pretty good spirits. So, and that side of fame is just not very close with each other anymore. So, there's always people there that I'm like, I don't know who these people are, and I know they don't know who I am, and it's a little weird. <laughs> My dad's like going around talking to people who he hasn't seen in ages. And he's introducing me, and they're like, oh, I haven't seen you since you were like, yay big, you know? So. A little awkward, but. It is what it is, for whatever reason. That side of the family just didn't stay close. Okay, well that is what is going on with me. Fairly short video. I'm not even finishing the food here on camera because I just want to get it ate and get home, but. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for being patient with me. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Have a great day.